Hey everyone, it's nice to be back. It's been quite a while. It feels like this past year has just flown by, whether I was helping my clients or building my Instagram and connecting with fellow warriors. It has definitely been a journey and it's been the best journey this past year. So if you haven't been here before, I'm Melody and I help you guys find the light in your autoimmune disease through nutrition, lifestyle, and mindset habits. So today I was asked to talk about the Walls Protocol and how I found the Walls Protocol when I was just 15 years old and recently diagnosed and then how I did it since it seems like such a strict diet but maybe you've heard so many good stories coming out of the Walls Protocol and heard Dr. Walls' story herself. So I'm just going to walk through my experience with the Walls Protocol and what I do now to serve other fellow warriors and help guide them through the walls protocol because it is tough, but it is 100% doable and 100% worth it. So just a flashback, eight years when I was 15 years old. And back then it took forever to get my diagnosis. And then I do have another YouTube video. I can link it down below of exactly how that whole process was. As I'm sure all of you know, an MS diagnosis just doesn't come overnight. It takes a lot of the time years, and that's how it was for me. But I ran into the Walls Protocol, I would say very recent in my MS journey. And honestly, the only thing I remember from back in that time is being in the neurologist office and my neurologist telling me like, I would probably end up in a wheelchair if I didn't go straight on medications. And for me, I just knew that wasn't my answer and my mom was right there alongside me that whole time and she's amazing for doing all of this for me. She got right to the computer and she found a doctor named Dr. Terry Walls. And Dr. Terry Walls, if you guys don't know her story, she was a full conventional medicine doctor. So everything that we're taught in our modern society, take this medication, you'll feel better. And if that doesn't work, we'll just top another medication. She completely believed in that until she herself was diagnosed with MS and she was taking the best medications that anyone has to offer. But within a matter of a few years, she was bedridden herself. So this intelligent woman had no idea what was going on when she practiced this her pretty much her whole life or half her life but she knew that wasn't the answer for her so she jumped to her books she jumped to her research and she found out that we can actually start healing our body with the right nutrients and the right nutrients weren't just supplements but it was the foods and the habits and everything that we were feeding and putting into our body and mind so what she did is she came up with the protocol she named it the walls protocol and this protocol got her out of the wheelchair, able to run marathons, able to bike to work, which was what, 20 miles? It's insane. And for me, I knew in my heart that if she could do it, I knew I could do it. Even though I was just 15 years old and it would mean a whole lifestyle change. One that no one or no one is used to even now. But I knew that this wasn't my answers to take medications and to inject my body every single week. That's not what was going to happen. So what I did is my mom and I got deep in our research, even though for me, I was definitely in a fog during this whole time. So I don't remember much of it, but I do remember my mom picking up the Walls Protocol book and she started feeding me different meals and she told me what I could and couldn't have. And for me, my love at that moment was to play softball again because that was quickly getting taken away from me. So I was like, okay, this is my purpose for going 150% strict on this diet. So what this diet includes is completely eliminating common autoimmune food sensitivities, which include gluten, it includes dairy, refined sugars, eggs at the beginning it includes getting rid of like hydrogenated oils that i didn't even understand any of this i just knew i had to completely switch up my life 
So then I had to start infusing my body with all these nutrients besides getting rid of all these inflammatory foods, which was tough because remember as a 15 year old girl who had tons of cravings, who loved her ice cream, that was my go-to at that time. But I also knew that yes, there's substitutes. There's like almond milk ice cream. There's just different ways I can get around it. And I knew for myself, I just wanted to feel better. I didn't want to feel like this for the rest of my life. So back to where I was heading. I started adding nutrients into my body. So six to nine cups of vegetables and fruits each and every day. She recommends nine to 21 ounces, depending on your size of proteins each and every day, completely getting rid of the sugars, like I said before, as well as adding gut healing foods, which I didn't understand what that was at all. So like fermented foods and bone broth and completely changing your oils to oils that aren't gonna inflame the body, but actually build the body back up. So coconut oil and ghee. And honestly, it all does sound overwhelming, but it becomes 100% doable when you start feeling the changes in your body. And for me, it didn't happen right away. For me, it got worse before it started getting better. And at the beginning, I remember my brain would feel like it was on fire each and every night, but to look back at it, it was just my body trying to heal itself. And the bright side to all of this is that my body was able to get back on the softball field and play like I used to within a matter of six months. Within a matter of six months of completely eliminating the foods that are super inflammatory to your body and then replacing it with nutrients and tools to start healing the body and cells. And that in a nutshell is the walls protocol infuse your body with nutrients so six to nine cups of six to nine cups of fruits and vegetables nine to 21 ounces of proteins switch up your oils that you're cooking with reduce your toxic load in any way possible so eliminate those inflammatory foods as soon as possible because that is basis number one and then basis number two is starting to build your body back up again the second part of this is that I asked you guys to ask me any questions you would like about the walls protocol on my Instagram account. So my first question is, is this like the ketogenic diet? And the walls protocol is in three different levels. I probably should have added that at the beginning, but the basis is what I started with. So the first level is exactly what I explained, the six to nine cups of vegetables, the nine to 21 ounces of protein and then eliminate all those foods that I talked about. So at the first level, it's just gluten, dairy, and eggs, eggs. And then the second level gets a bit stricter, and this is where she reduces fruits and starchy vegetables to only two cups per week. And she also starts reducing your natural sweeteners, and this is where she also starts adding in organ meats. And for me, I didn't start having organ meats up until a few years ago. But if you are deep in your autoimmune journey and you just wanna feel better fast, you don't have to start organ meats right away. I do recommend that you do supplement it though. And it makes the process so much easier. And then moving on to level three is where you start getting closer to the ketogenic diet. She calls it the MCT ketogenic diet and not the dairy-based ketogenic diet. And in this one, it's really strict. There's a lot more fats and you're only eating twice a day. And this is where intermittent fasting starts kicking in. It's a lot stricter and it's definitely easier than you may think. Again, this just infuses your body with the tools it needs to start healing itself. And I think that really is a trick to just switch your mind, your mindset to a place that you know that you're healing, that you feel that you're healing, and then all of this just becomes doable. And it's not gonna happen overnight, it never does, but step by step you will get there. And my next question is how I found the Walls Protocol. So as I said before, my mom got deep into her research because she didn't want me to be on medications from such a young age as well. And she just ran into Dr. Terry Walls and we just ordered her book and we started following every single thing that was in her book. And it's literally saved my life. Next question is, how much does it cost to work with me? 
with the walls protocol and this is a complete new program that i have i do work with clients one-on-one -on -one with nutritional therapy but recently i opened up a program for solely the walls protocol about a year ago now i did get my certification with walls to start teaching and guiding warriors on the walls protocol and for that program it is 1250 it's going to be 16 different sessions to integrate this step by step into your lifestyle each meeting we have we'll go over something different and do worksheets and homework so it will better guide you i really hope this answered all of your questions i really try to put all of this in a nutshell all there for you within a short amount of time so if you guys have any questions go ahead and just comment down below your question or you can also message me on instagram i'll leave that down below or you can check out that walls one-on-one -on -one program down below as well if the walls protocol seems overwhelming to you right now please know it is 100% worth it. As I said before, it is a lifestyle change, but it mostly has to do with what's in our mind. We've been taught to eat a certain way our whole lives, but eating this certain way has brought us to this disease state that we're in now. And yes, it 100% sucks when you see your friends eating whatever they want and they seem perfectly fine but just know that you're a warrior and you're just, you're not like the average and that's okay. You can still live out your best life. You can still live out all your dreams. It's gonna look a little different, but it doesn't mean it can't be more beautiful than it was before. I'll catch you next week, warriors.